until the Civil War, and, and most likely well after the war, 20% of the men in the Union Navy were African American. They did the same jobs for the same money. Now, they were not officers. That was asking too much at the time, but they, they got paid the same rate, they did the same job. That's something that a lot of people do not realize. It, it, it was, it was that, that, that division of labor and responsibility that came about before World War I that, that we are probably more familiar with knowing. The man who was most responsible for building this ship, Horace King, was, was a black man. He had been, was born enslaved, uh, moved from the Carolinas down here, uh, gained his freedom in the 1840s, but continued to work with the man who owned him as, a, as equal partners. And they built most of the bridges in uh, West Georgia, including the ones here in Columbus, the one that was burned the night of the battle. Uh, they built other, a lot of other structures and things. He built the circular stairway in the State House in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, no one can figure out how that stairway works, but you can still go up and down it today, 150 plus years later. And he was responsible for cutting the wood, for, for milling the wood, sawing the wood, and for the most part, building the ship. He was a free man at that time, and he had a big business going on as a partner. However, his, his partner, the white man, had died. He was, so, so Horace was responsible not only for his own family, two of his sons who were of age to be drafted as young black men into the Confederate, Navy, into the Confederate Army. He got them jobs at the Iron Works. He was also responsible for his partner's family, the wife, the widow, and several younger children as well. So he provided for all of them and the Confederate Navy came to him and said, you're gonna build us a boat. And he said, I'm a Union man. I'm not gonna, I can't do that. And, and they said, well, oh yeah, you can, you know. So yes, he did because he had to protect his families, both those families, his business, his property, and his life. But Horace King was a Union man. There are stories like that throughout this museum throughout the stories of, of the, the Army and the Navy. There are many stories that you don't expect to see at a Civil War Museum that you're certainly surprised to know about. And we want to, to share those as they tie to the Navy. So that's, that's one of our main goals here today.